I'm a pediatrician and I work with all ages of children. I use what I have learned at the Option Institute all the time. Here's an example. This is with a younger child. So this child was complaining about little tiny things, not, not being bullied or anything like that, but little tiny things. And I was able to say to them, you know, it really is just your outlook. There's a stimulus. The stimulus is the teacher that you say hates you, but really that's just the teacher doing what the teacher does. And you're reacting by saying the teacher hates you and you're getting in trouble and you're getting kicked out of class. The child was just like, like eyes wide open, like listening and really paying attention. Why don't you change the belief from she hates me to anything else that feels better on the other side? So you won't be yelling and screaming and defending yourself and believing that she hates you. You don't, you don't know that. I don't think they'd ever heard anything like that before. They'd either heard you're bad, you're bad, you're bad, and you deserve to be thrown out, or sometimes the opposite, your teacher's a loser, a loser, a loser, and you shouldn't have been thrown out, poor you. It depends on, I guess, the, the parent. Sometimes I'll give examples like that in front of the children, for the children, but even more for the parent who is complaining about the child. And I'm ever so hopeful that when I'm teaching the child on the what I feel is the child's level, that the parent is actually hearing that and going, oh, that's just my child yelling. It doesn't mean that I need to yell back. Thank you.